in light of the long-running public rumor about Beyonce and Sean Paul's purported affair. What precisely is going on with Beyonce's kid? Then the dance hall inspired duet from Beyonce's 2003 debut solo album, Dangerously in Love was the summertime hit when it was released. And while the scorching music video and sizzling smash hit sent temperatures skyrocketing that season, it also sparked romance rumors between the two collaborators, despite the fact that the song has always and stuck in Sean Paul's mind. Sean addressed the rumors and refuted claims that he and Beyonce romantic relationship beyond their working relationship. Nah, I wish I did. He said in response to the question of whether they hooked up during that period, she's beautiful. In fact, Sean said they only had a working relationship. Beyonce and her husband, Jay-Z, were already dating in 2022, sung the song three times together. She had a few hits with Destiny's Child and they would perform in the Caribbean, but we didn't really hang out. The Jamaican musician said that she was a beautiful musician and I had always admired her music. So when I heard that Beyonce was going solo and wanted me to do a single, I was like, hell yeah, but Paul also stated that the crazy and love singer had spoken to him regarding the rumors that they were dating, which started to surface after the release of the song and the baby boy. The reggae singer said that Beyonce had pulled him aside during their performance at the MTV Europe Music Awards in November 2003, was furious and said, I need to talk to you, the temperature singer claimed. So we resumed our conversation and she asked, what are all these allegations about? I said, yo, I'm not saying ish. And she replied, these rumors about my career. I just want you to know that Paul says he told Beyonce that despite the strange fact that he mentioned that it might have something to do with her management at the time the baby boy was released in 2003, the Love on Top singer was already dating her current husband, Jay-Z, after Paul had declined to perform with Beyonce. The Empire State of Mind rapper allegedly prevented Paul from performing with his then-girlfriend at 2003 MTV VMA Awards. However, the Get Busy singer refuted this rumor during a 2012 appearance on Rap Fix Live, saying, I've known Jay-Z since before I knew her, Beyonce, that he initially chose not to address the rumors because they helped his career. The public blew it up in some ways, and I just kept quiet about it for years because it was working. There was a lot of controversy. She is an incredible artist, and the song was number one for almost nine weeks. So that was despite everything the rapper said. Paul noticed that Beyonce seemed to have technical difficulties or sound problems at every show he did with her. Strange things would also start to happen at the performances, which he described as strange. I did my show and then she was performing. It was a very special time for me and for the dance hall. And they begged me to stay because we do it together. So I did. The crowd went crazy as I ran outside. But after a while, it seemed like I ran out of energy. So he went on. It's strange because as the song ended, I went backstage and my own band was playing. He then described a performance in Scotland where things came to a head. That's when we had the talk because the rumors got really crazy and I landed in Scotland. I was like, man, that's effed up. You heard yourself. We couldn't hear you in the crowd. Your mic was off. And Paul recalled that there were paparazzi everywhere we went. We completed the rehearsal and everything went well. The performance was supposed to be where I emerged from under the stage. After that, we both strolled to a large center that was encircled by flames in the middle of the stadium. Everything goes okay until it gets to the part where I say, you're a top girl and the song just keeps going, baby boy, you stay, baby boy, you stay, just repeating. I thought, what's going on here? Paul was asked if he thought Jay Z had anything to do with the audio problems and he answered that despite the fact that it was impossible, Jay Z wasn't even present, so it couldn't be that he was behind it. However, many began to claim that he had mentioned that there was one more performance we were meant to do at the VMAs, and she had told him, we're going to have rehearsal. So look, we went to the label, and they said, yo, they're not going to do the song with you. So I'm sitting there in the crowd with my present. On the day before the VMAs, there's this press day where you speak to every radio station. I hear somebody rehearsing a baby boy. Beyonce is singing the song as she descends the stairs, and Paris Hilton is sitting in front of me. She turns to face me and asks, why aren't you up there? It was embarrassing and weird after the alleged snub. The two then travel to Washington, D.C., where they're scheduled to perform the song once more before Sean the following day. Paul abruptly canceled our scheduled performance in Washington, D.C. when I was meant to sing the song for her father. He claimed I went there, did my show, and then waited around for a while and got pissed off, implying that there were 3,000 powerful people waiting for us the previous time we performed the show. I publicly said that nothing was going on 
and that no one was questioning them about it. However, you know, at that point, there were 50 million people watching the VMAs. So I said, I'm not doing it. And I left. The rapper from Jamaica who had previously been on Live Crew Action and Burger Man performed a big fat song. He seemed to support the host's assertion that Jay-Z wasn't a fan of Paul's 2003 collaboration with Beyonce, saying that he was jealous of the two of them spending time together. He said that it was evident at the time that Jay-Z was not thrilled about him being with Beyonce, but in a subsequent interview with Hot New Hip Hop, Paul distanced himself from the charges, saying it was a radio show here in Jamaica, and I get to use a degree of diplomacy. This happens frequently to me when I visit Texas for radio shows. People there say things like, tell me, and it gets to the point in the interview where they ask, what happened with you and Beyonce? Nothing really happened. The hit song was dope. He clarified, continuing, you know, some of those um, interviews, you can say things like, I'd rather not speak about it. But then people would think that something was going on and try to defend yourself by saying things like, hey, nah, but weird things did happen. That's probably why there were rumors, but people leave them out. That's probably why. But sometimes people make up their own minds. That's whatever. There were rumors, so Paul also talked briefly about why he recorded his portion of the Baby Boy video, apart from Beyonce, acknowledging that it was likely her idea and not Jay-Z's because they weren't married yet. I don't think he would have influenced whatever her vision was, Paul said, elaborating on why the two have rarely worked together. Recorded the song together since Paul added it. I did mention in that interview that strange things happen, which is probably why people heard rumors about it. A few times when we were trying to perform Baby Boy on stage, there were issues with the Pro Tools, which isn't something that usually happens there. Baby Boy is widely regarded as a follow-up to Jay-Z's song 3, Bonnie and Clyde, but Paul concluded that nothing ever happened with me and her aside from a hit song and said he never said anything about what they're reporting me to say. There were issues with my microphone and one performance in Germany, which is probably why people started talking about it. Clyde, a song by Beyonce, featured lyrics that depicted a woman's fantasies and matched the album's main theme. Beyonce herself identified with this theme as Paul narrated how she told him about her fantasies and imagined traveling the world together. I said, I'm with it. The lyrics followed a toast course for structure with Beyonce handling the verses and Sean Paul handling the toasting. The release of Baby Boy, the second single from Beyonce's debut studio album, Dangerously in Love, took place on August 3, 2003 in the United States. It was followed by releases on October 6, 2003 in the United Kingdom as a CD single and on August 3, 2003 in Canada as a 12-inch single. The pattern was repeated twice, ending with the toasting and final verse. The following day as a maxi single and on October 13, 2003, it was released in Germany on October 14, 2003, it was released as a 12-inch single in the United States. And on October 28, 2003, it was released as a CD single. Additionally, The Baby Boy was included in the remastered version of Sean Paul's second studio album. Duddy Rock in 2003 at the Jay-Z was once again the target of scorn and anger from Jamaicans following rumors that he had asked that the dance hall artist not be included in the VMA performance because he was jealous of and concerned about his ex-girlfriend, Beyonce. The alleged jealousy stemmed from a previous live performance in which the pop queen performed alongside the modest Jamaican, delighting all. Who Were Watching Baby Boy was a hit song for Beyonce when she went solo following Destiny's Child Split. It peaked at number one on the US Billboard Hot 100 chart for several weeks and raised Sean Paul's profile internationally when he was questioned about whether the sultry Accompanying music video contributed to the rumors that he, the temperature artist, continued to explain that at the time of the video shoot, he had thought the scenes would involve both of them dancing together, but he was called Queen Bay, so Sean said he felt it might have. Many Jamaicans had been wondering why he was not in any scenes with Beyonce, joining with the director who told him that, despite his jealousy of what he believed to be happening between Sean Paul and Beyonce, Jay-Z had not been all that faithful. In fact, 